Hi everyone, Angela here. In this video, I'll show you how to make fabric feathers from your scraps and offcuts and how to decorate them for Christmas. Links for all the tools I use can be found in the description below. Make sure to cut your fabric along the lengthwise grain or crosswise grain and not on an angle. You can make these any size you like, but I'm going to use my handy six and a half inch square to cut these rectangles out six and a half inches long by two and a half inches wide. It's also best to use loosely woven fabric. Fold the fabric in half lengthwise and then starting from the fold, cut out a curve to the side on each end. If you're finding this video helpful, make sure to like, share, subscribe and turn on all notifications and also leave a comment below. For the center of the feather, I'm using this double faced satin ribbon that measures an eighth of an inch or three millimeters wide. And I also have this fancier gold looped ribbon that measures about a quarter of an inch or six millimeters wide. For each one, you'll need about 27 inches or 68 centimeters. Measure down six inches from the end of your ribbon and place that at the top of your fabric. We'll be stitching the ribbon right down the center. Start by back tacking and you may need to pull on the ribbon from behind to just help guide the fabric through. You may need to use a walking foot or you can zigzag the ribbon on, whatever makes it easier. When you get to the end of the fabric, back tack and with the needle position up, pull out the fabric along with the thread and don't cut it. Turn the fabric and ribbon onto the other side. Leave about an inch and a half or four centimeter long tail at the bottom. We're now going to stitch the ribbon down the center on this other side. Start by back tacking right at the edge of the fabric and make sure to place your ribbon right on top of the previous stitching. Again, hang on to the ribbon from behind to help guide the fabric through. Back tack at the end of the fabric, cut the ribbon the same length as the other one and trim all your threads. Then I'm sewing it exactly the same way with the fancier ribbon. Now to turn this fabric into a feather, you want to just rough up that top edge a little bit to expose the vertical threads. What you want to do now is pull out all of the vertical threads, leaving the horizontal threads that are attached to the ribbon. I find the best way to do it is to pull the threads out and then upwards. If you try to pull it all down or pull too many at the same time, it gets all tangled up. Pull out all the threads until you get to the center spine and then repeat on the other side. You may need to use a pin or seam ripper to help guide the thread out. At this point when you pick it up you'll see that it tends to twist so just give it a quick press with the iron to eliminate that. At this point it can be used as a hanging ornament by tying a knot at the top or make it a bit fancier by adding a bow. Just hand stitch it to the ribbons on the back. You can find my tutorials on how to make bows here. For the finishing touch, I just threaded a bell through each ribbon and tied a knot at the top to secure it in place. So have fun with these and decorate them any way you like. Make sure to check out some of my other videos. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care and happy sewing.